let's talk about average speed versus instantaneous speed. Let's take a look for a second at a distance versus time graph. So we have time on the x-axis, and we have distance on the y-axis. And let's say we have an object that's moving forward at a constant speed. Then let's say it stops for a few seconds. And then let's say that it dramatically increases speed, and then it stops. And let's say for a moment that this is over a time period of five seconds. And in that five seconds, we'll say that the object moved five feet. Okay? Now let's take a look at these two terms. Average speed, instantaneous speed. Now if I were to ask you, what is the average speed of this object? You would probably take the total time, which is five seconds, and you would also use the total distance, which is five feet. And you would do distance divided by time, or 5 feet divided by 5 seconds. So in this case, you would know that the average speed is 1 foot per second. Okay? Now let's talk about instantaneous speed. Instantaneous speed is a speed at any given second. For example, I might ask you, what is the instantaneous speed of this object at 2 seconds? I would go up and create a dot. And right here, you would know the instantaneous speed, the speed exactly at two seconds, would be zero because the object is not moving. Okay, so in this case, the instantaneous speed would be zero feet per second. Of course, it would depend on where in the graph I made that point. So again, average speed is total distance over total time. Instantaneous speed is just a specific speed at a specific instant. 